Yeah, whoever is attacked is the best. That that is the only thing you need to know about modern culture, and I not don't mean you, Jessica. I just mean the the planet as a whole. Whoever's being attacked is automatically the best person in the situation, because the people who are avoided are the people who will cause you lots of trouble back if you attack them. Right. So uh, there's right. groups that are vaulted over completely, and and nobody criticizes, and and then the people who are shamed and attacked are the people who have the most respect for women, the most respect for culture, the most respect for law and order, who have the most self restraint, who have the capacity to defer gratification, who are most committed to free speech. So your virtues have become not something that people praise you for, but something that people attack you for, uh, and uh, that is um, it, it is a weird, twisted Alice in Wonderland world. Uh, which is really, I think, fairly well understood by a lot of people on the web, a lot of people, a lot of netizens, as they used to be called, and if they're still called that anymore. But a lot right. of people on the web say, oh, this person's being attacked. They must have something really great to say. They must have something really interesting to say. At least I won't be bored. Whereas the people who are not attacked, um, well, it's because they are less, probably going to be less rational and measured in their response to the attacks. So uh, it has become this weird thing where um, the the uh, the heroes are known by the tracer bullets, like wherever they're heading. <laughs> most times, that is where where the heroes are, and right. um, that has uh, that has changed well quite a bit from when I was younger. <laughs>